Hey everybody, Wayne here, bringing you another unboxing today. This is Hearts and Minds Vietnam 1965 to 1975 from Compass Games. This one is a fairly new release. Um, I wanted to check it out. I heard a lot of good things about the previous versions. I think this is the third edition. Um, I, don't know, I don't know where the first edition was published. I know the second edition was published by um, Worthington Games. And now we're looking at Compass Games. Um, apparently this one's got like the deluxe treatment. I mean, we're talking mounted map. Nice rounded counters, all that kind of good stuff. So once I heard all that, and I heard that it had a solo bot that came with it as well, I knew I had to check it out. So let's go ahead and open her up here. I like the I like the cover art in this one. On the back here, Hearts and Minds offers a unique approach to one of the most controversial conflicts in the post World War era. Those counters look nice on here. Map looks good from here. I know it's card, uh, card. I don't say card driven necessarily, but um, I, maybe it is. It is kind, I guess. Hearts and Minds design offers a unique card driven area movement approach with tremendous replayability. Players explore the military and the political aspects of the war. Easy to learn, quick to play. Ham, Hearts and Minds, allows players to play any one year or series of years. Players are engrossed in the language and events of the era. From the Ho Chi Minh Trail, hidden VC units, concentrated bombing missions, rapid deployment forces, South Vietnamese coup, and the promotion of green survivors into tough veteran troops. So we're looking at a mounted map, 175 counters, 80 cards, full rule book and scenario book, flow charts to assist play, eight page solitaire book, there we go, and dice. Designed by John Paniski. Paniski? Sorry if I uh, mispronounced your name there, John. Complexity medium, turn scale, or excuse me, time scale, one turn per year. Provincial map scale, area movement, um, units represent abstract fighting forces. One to two players, suitability for solitaire, medium to high. Average time to play, 45 to 60 minutes per game year. All right, let's crack her open and take a look at the components. Oh, I think I need a new knife. There we go. Maybe we can get her open here one of these days. I'm kind of excited, excited end of uh, opening a box. There we go. I don't want to, <clears throat> I don't want to mess up the box when I'm opening it with my box cutter. All right, let's get rid of that. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, open her up. It's a pretty heavy box too, and it's a decent thickness. So let's open her up here. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> I heard the dice were pretty big. <laughs> I don't know. I have, I've got a meaty hands here and these dice are huge. I did hear that and someone warned me that the dice were gonna be ginormous here. So I don't know if anything can put it to scale, but it's it's large. These dice are large. Okay. I'm gonna hear a piece of paper. What's this say? Your lucky winner, million dollars. Hearts and Minds Errata. Comes Games third, Comes Games Edition. Blue card number 20 should be marked. 1969. Okay. I do know there is a uh, more rata than just that. Um, if you look on BGG under the, this game's page, there's uh, a rata thread started by the designer. Um, and it has a, uh, everything listed there nicely. He put everything nicely together. So, all right. So the cards, um, so I think what I understand it is there's basically cards that are dedicated for, um, the blue side, which is the allies. And then black is for all everybody. And then there's red cards as well. Let's open them up and look, see if we can see. Then one of those easy open things, they got it. Where it is it? There it is. All right, it's just upside down. Cards look nice. They look nice. Back artwork is good. Decent thickness, rounded corners. Not bad, not bad. So yeah, so blue um, would be for the allied forces. So you'd have only you would have the blue, only the allies would have the blue. So obviously US, South Vietnamese, Arvin, that kind of thing. Um, and then red would be more of the North Vietnamese. I don't wanna go through each, there's a lot of cards here. We're not gonna go through each one, but just kinda, kinda get a general idea of the cards. Um, so my understanding it is you'll have like a hand of cards and you get to play one and you get to the RPs, the resource points up here, and you get those that many resource points. Um, 
And I'm trying to remember if it to use, if it has an action on here. Yep, so whose birthday costs one RP. So I think it'd be, say you play this card, instead of doing one or the other, yeah, it's actually both. So you'd get the three RPs, and then you get to you can spend one to do, say this event, Buddha's birthday. No bombers may fly missions during Blue's next turn. So, very interesting. Can't see how it is in action. And like I said, I think the black cards here, see the black stripe, I believe those would be for every, uh, I think they're split up maybe evenly, or there's a way that scenarios split them up. So then some go to the blue, some go to the red. So, anyways, we're not gonna look at every card here. I don't wanna take too long on this unboxing. I actually wanna get to the game and play it. All right, so rules of play. I believe it's not too many rules. Let's take a look here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Mac has a push events table and bad intelligence, okay. Nice in color. As usual, Compass Games, they've, I mean, they're great with uh, component quality. Full color, glossy, but not too glossy. Very nice. Okay, yep, so this, so we see all the units. See how they look. Let's see. I'm going through here. So I'm not spending forever on it. And I just want to kind of, oh, big example of play. Huge example of play. Very nice. Love to see examples of play. Oh, and then that's already to uh, scenarios, I think. Here we go. So looks like it ends on page 19. So 19-ish pages of rules. Not bad at all. And the rest are going to be scenarios and maybe, oh, the list of the cards, what each one does maybe. Very cool. Okay. Ah, here we go. So let's your play guide is what I'm talking about. That's what I'll be using. Omniscience preparation, game pieces, response cards, zone campaigns, brand campaigns. Sequence of play for, solo, very nice. Red bot, communist, blue bot, allied. Perfect. And another little key here. All the I mean, that's components. A bunch of baggies. Which are tiny little baggies. Whole stack of them. All right. What else we got here? A uh, player aid card here. Whoop. Player aid card. Where to deploy, abbreviated sequence of play, battle sequence, battle table. Okay, very cool. And that will be very helpful. And there's, there's two together, by the way. So, same thing. Just two of them. Which works um what do we got here was this gonna be the solo the solo bot or i think it is i don't i don't see where it says it maybe maybe it's just for any that's just the general like flow chart or it's a solo i don't it doesn't say, so I wish it had said, I don't think it says on top, it just says, this is a hearts and minds game. Um, and I don't, I'm not gonna spend an hour on this here, but uh, I just don't see where it says solitaire flowchart, but I would assume that's usually what they look like. So I assume that's what it is. Anyway, well, we'll figure it out when I'm playing. Oh, here we go. So now we're talking. So, so I'd heard the counters were fantastic quality, individually punched, round, pre-rounded corners, and it looks like I can confirm that, which I love that. Um, counter sheet th number three. One, two, three. Let's look at US here. Very nice. Fantastic counters. So, yep, it's definitely in the individually punched with the pre-rounded corners. Oh, pop right out of there. Very nice. Get a couple of these. That's um, North Vietnamese. I assume, yep, Viet Cong down here. We'll get some of these maybe up close, a little more little close for you guys. Oh, very nice. Yeah, well done on the quality. Thickness is decent. Um, Maybe either comparable or maybe a touch under DVG. 
but I mean, they're certainly not thin. They're, I mean, they're sturdy here. And with the individually punched, very nice. And there's not even those side nubs, which is another win. Not really. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. Pre, like individually punched, pre-rounded corners, but you don't even have those side nubs that you sometimes get with pre-rounded ones. So beautiful job. Great job on the counters here, guys. So kudos already on that. All right, see the map here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video, get the map set up, we'll take a look at that. All right, so I have the map all set up here. Um, it's it's definitely a mounted map. I'm gonna lower here and try to take a look at it for you. It's a nice, uh, nice thick mounted map. Laying very flat, I mean reasonably flat from coming right out of the box. You know, sometimes with the mounted maps, it's a little harder to lay them flat, um, especially right away. I didn't really have to do any sort of folding, and it's it's laying, laying pretty flat. So, um, artwork is really good. Artwork is very nice. A lot of green. I mean, it makes sense. Right, we're talking about the jungle, um, but very green. I like the fact that Vietnam itself is separated from um, Cambodia and Laos uh, with the colors for sure. Just makes it stand stand out a little more. It's not just one solid shade of green across the whole map. Um, looks like there are some shared tables in the middle. BC pool, Deadpool, body count, shared. Game track, your track. But then each side has your own chart. So depending on which side you're sitting on, or if you're playing solo like me, you have abbreviated sequence of play, battle sequence, battle table, invasion, ambush raid, bomber ground attack, interface summary, reinforcement summary, air base, all that is on each side. Well, not the air base, that's just for the... This is for the um, allied, but you get the idea. It has, and then the same the other side also has the different charts, battle charts and evasion and all that stuff. So I like having the charts available right on the map. Sometimes it's a distraction from the map, but I feel like this one will be good because they're not over land or anything we're talking about. They're just basically where the um, ocean would be anyway. So a little closer. See the different, uh, different provinces here that they've covered in South Vietnam. Again, I like the artwork a lot. And then North Vietnam up there. So the map looks good. I mean, it looks very playable, um, with also really nice artwork. Nothing too crazy, nothing's gonna stand out, but it's also, I think, nothing that's going to make you think, uh, nothing to be too distracting while you're playing. And sometimes that's just as important to not be distracted by you know, a bunch of crazy stuff on the map, or, or to make the map have a uh, struggle with readability. Let me put, um, put the camera back on the mountain here, everybody. So, so don't get don't get sick there while I'm moving it. All right. So that is Hearts and Minds, um, third edition. I think this game looks, first of all, fantastic production quality. Without even commenting on the uh, rules or anything, because I have not played it before, but uh, just looking at the actual components and production quality or all around it looks just fantastic um can't wait to play it can't wait to check it out and i will let you guys know how it plays thanks for watching everybody bye